Well guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a video about how to change from stills to custom video mode. So on the Canon R5, there's a red record button right here. This button, what it will do, it will jump to auto video. So what that does, it just uses basically auto settings, auto ISO, auto shutter speed, auto picture quality and everything. So we don't always want that. So what we want is our custom video settings that we've set up where we can take and set, tell it you we want 1080p at 60 frames or 120 frames. We want 4K at 30 or 60. We want animal eye detect. We want uh, Canon log or Canon color, whatever. All those kind of settings we can set. So normally how to change to a custom mode, you have to hit the mode button and then from the mode button, you have to hit the info button. So the info button will give you all your camera settings, all automatic, aperture, uh, manual mode. Um, it give you the custom one, custom two, and custom three. And those are what we use. So for me, custom one is set up to be 4K30, Canon Log, Animal Eye Detect. C2 for me is 4K60, so I can get slow-mo, with the same settings, Canon Log and Eye Detect. C3 is for me is Canon, uh, sorry, 4K 30 frames Animal Detect, and uh, the last thing I use that is Canon Color instead of C Log. I've noticed when I've got a lot of low light, uh, Canon Color does a little better at capturing because of the exposure. So, so again, normally to jump from stills to video for your custom modes, you would have to hit um, get back to stills. So I'm in stills mode. So if I needed to go back there, I'd have to hit the mode button, info button, and then choose my mode. So that's a lot of settings when you're really quickly needing video or back to stills. So I'll go back to, so how do we change that? So we can set a button on our camera, any button we want to choose, to go from stills to the last used custom setting. So how to do that? So what you do is you go to your menu button and you're gonna to go to, wish I quit moving this camera. Uh, you're gonna to go to your orange settings, this little camera looking icon here, and you're gonna go tab three. So from there, you're gonna hit customize buttons. Once you hit customize buttons, you scroll down and I'm gonna choose the FN, M, MNFN button because it's a button I don't use. So from here, you select that and I'm gonna go back to the top where all the things are. So you have all these different options. So from here, you can go all the way down, it's towards the bottom, and you're gonna to go to this one here. So it's going to be, uh, it looks like a camera to a camera. It actually says stills to movie function. You don't want the one above it, which is movie recording, because that's what the auto one does. So if you go here, it's gonna jump back and forth. So now we set that. So what that's gonna do is gonna program this MNFN button up here in front of the, the record button. So set that by hitting the select button, set button, then get back out of your menu. So now we are in stills. Let's say we need to jump, we wanna to jump to our last custom setting. All we have to do now is hit, now we have to do is set the MNFN button. Boom, I'm in C1 program, because that's my last used custom function. If I hit the MNFN button again, I'm back in picture. So real quickly, I can jump to video and start recording. Got the lens cap on, so I can't see anything. Um, so if I need, I'm in video and I've been recording video and I stop it and all I gotta do is hit that button again, I'm right back in stills real quickly. So um, most of the cameras, you can program buttons, and, but the Canon's really cool because it gives you the ability to, you got, Three buttons here you can set. You can set that one as a fourth one. Uh, you can even set the, I think you can even set this uh, set button even so. Uh, and then you've got a few buttons on top you can set also. And then one on the front. Um, so anyway, that is how we set a custom button to jump back and forth between the video to the stills. Um, this has saved me so much time in the field um, when I need to jump back and forth between recording video and recording stills. So. I hope that video helped you um, like it helped me. I just wanted to pass that along. Um, if you like this video, please uh, like and subscribe, comment, share it. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, until the next video, uh, you guys stay safe.